When you have a check engine light on, knowing what's wrong with the vehicle makes it a lot easier to fix. So today, we're going to take a quick look at the KZ KC501 scan tool. It's very easy to use, reasonably priced, and easily updated. The menu is easy to navigate and understand. We'll use these arrows to go left, right, up and down, and it's right here right now, and we'll go right, left, left again, and we can select that. Down, right, right. So up here, we can check our codes right here. We can do an IM readiness test, which is an inspection test, ABS, SRS, which is safety restraint, and your brakes. We can look up codes right here. We can review the data if we recorded any. You can print the data right here. Set up the tool. Oops, go down. We can set up the tool and see what the latest software is that we're using. With the scanner plugged in and the ignition in the on position, we can run a few tests. We'll just scroll over and check for codes or erase codes. And it's communicating with the vehicle. It says everything's okay. No codes right here with this light. If it was here, we'd have pending codes. And if it was here, uh, we would have codes. So we'll just say no to this. And these are the modules that it detects. And now we're here with read codes, erase codes, live data, freeze frame, IM readiness, which is um, inspection or maintenance if you're going to get your, ch your uh, car inspected. We'll go up here, read codes. Stored codes, pending codes, or permanent codes. We'll just go with the stored codes. And it says no codes. Next on the menu is erase codes. If you had a code and you wanted to erase it, you would just go like this. It says erase trouble codes, yes or no. We'll say no. And escape. Back to the menu. And now live data. With the vehicle running, we can check out the live data. And you can uh, record, playback, or view data. We'll do a complete set. You can do a custom set or change the unit of measure. And let me get in real close. And we'll scroll through and this is all of your live data. So the intake air temperature is 86, spark advance 5.5, O2 sensors, O2 sensors going from, from 0.1 to 0.8 which is good. And we'll escape that. Next, after live data, you have freeze frame data, which is when the uh, code happened. I am readiness, which is uh, inspection and maintenance. If you have to get your car inspected, you can run a quick test to see if it's going to pass. Onboard monitor test, component test, which is a leak test for emissions. Uh, this particular guy runs a leak test for emissions. Vehicle information, modules present, and there's uh, three there, and you can change the units of measure. Next on the menu, we can try the readiness test. This is uh, for inspections. And if you're getting your car inspected, this will tell you how well you're going to do. And it looks like you're going to do pretty good. There's a couple that uh, weren't tested or not applicable. Next to the readiness test, we have ABS or SRS. That's your brakes or your safety restraint system. You can clear codes or read codes. 
next to that the next one down is your DTC lookup or your code lookup so if you want to whoops let's just change that back uh, if you want to look up a code like let's say you get a code 402 and that would define the code exhaust gas recirculation flow excessive detected the next few items on the menu uh, as review data, if you recorded any data under your live data, you can review it here or play it back. You can print data. If you download the app, you can plug this tool into the computer with USB and print your data. You can set up this tool if you want beep or not beep, units of measure. And finally, um, the software that you're using, the latest software that you're using. The KC501 is durable, has a nice colored screen, well-designed keypad, and comes with everything you need to diagnose your vehicle. In review, the KC501 can access all 10 modes of the OBD2 protocol. It can request live data, freeze frames, store trouble codes, clear and reset, request oxygen sensor test results, onboard system test results, pending trouble codes. It can control onboard systems, request vehicle information, and permanent trouble codes. It has a trouble code library to look up the meaning of your codes, inspection readiness status, ABS and SRS diagnosis, lifetime free upgrades, no memory card is needed, a well-written manual, ability to record and print, and 24-hour, seven-day customer service. I hope you enjoyed this review on the KZ KC501 OBD2 scan tool with SRS and ABS. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.